we're here to go through some more of the move to Hawaii locker. Wow, that is pretty fancy. I did not know what a wall butterfly was. Now, apparently, I know. Ah, look at that. What does that say? Sugar booger. <laughs> that's, that's potentially a little bit of money right there. Handbag. One of our favorite finds. Oh, a handbag with tags. Come on. $7 for this? What? This is really nice stuff. It's all brand new. $672. What? I just thought if there's an F right there, that'd be way more interesting. Locker Nuts is a little slow on the go sometimes. This has got me perplexed. And then look at these. Ooh. I think it's a laptop. <laughs> okay. Apple, yes. Apple laptop. Ooh. That might be a keeper right there. That might be a keeper. <laughs> Trying to find me some dollar dollar bills, yo. What's up Locker Nuts? Alright, we are back at my unit. This is one of my units, also known as Train Unit Part 2. A uh, lot of train stuff on the shelves there that we still have not gotten to. We'll do that and we'll do that in good time. First though, the boxes that you may or may not be able to see. Can you see that? I don't know, but the boxes in the middle, those are from the locker that I bought from a, one of our viewers. He had moved to Hawaii six years ago, didn't want to pay rent anymore, didn't want to ship the stuff. Uh, sold it all to me sight unseen. I purchased it. We've been going through it in a few ep It was a few episodes ago, but we have spent a few episodes going through it and uh, right now I'm gonna continue why because tomorrow I'm going to the flea market and I need more stuff my trailer's not quite full That's what it looks like at the moment not quite full uh, There's a there's some stuff you guys haven't seen before like these pieces here that really nice pot right there a couple pieces of uh, artwork right here these are custom uh, designs right there so there's a story behind that as I said I'm working in my unit uh, a couple days ago right down the road here a lady flagged me over she wanted to talk to me she had some concerns about a guy that she thought was trying to slip into the facility when she was opening the gate uh, she, she th said he looked a little sketchy so she was a little nervous because she was here by herself and it was getting a little bit late in the day so she wanted to ask me if I seen him and if I could be looking out for him I said of course so it's so funny as it turns out she needs help getting rid of stuff and uh, <laughs> when I told her what I did she was just like you gotta be kidding you gotta be kidding it's like such a perfect thing she said it was a God's intervention really God's plan to uh, put us together so I've been helping her move some stuff out some of that's going straight to the market but anyways that's not what we're here for we're here to go through some more of the move to Hawaii locker and see if we can find any more good stuff to put aside and by good stuff I mean stuff that will go into our live auction or to a better flea market but all the regular stuff clothing bed bedding etc that's gonna go to Stockton tomorrow let's go dig in and see what we find okay guys so check it out this is what it looks like in here um we got this there's stuff everywhere all this over there has already been processed and ready to go to De Anza flea market which is this coming weekend right now it's tuesday so that's coming up on saturday this is pretty good stuff that i've put aside and stuff to go to the better market i got a little bit of stuff in here some family photos get back to the previous owner there's some crafting stuff and i don't know some stuff for our auctions i think over there a little bit more auction stuff but right now this is this little island right here of boxes that's what we have left to go through uh, and i have stuff in one of my other lockers as well let's go in this because it says master bedroom that's kind of interesting look at all the holes poked in here i almost feel like they had an animal in here or something little air holes or maybe their kids are playing with it or something so that's right i did peek in this i saw this machinery here Pressure iron and steamer, Rowenta. Not sure what that is. What's a pressure iron? I don't know. Okay, this is something different now. Nero Fuzzy. <laughs> what? Zoji Rushi. Huh. Oh, it's a rice cooker. Sweet rice. Semi brown rice. Whoa, this is a nice rice cooker right here. Oh, right here. NSZCC18. That, uh, that looks kind of nice actually. A little bit of wear down there. I don't see any wear here. I don't see any scratches or anything. That looks like it's in nice shape. And boy, that's that's a pretty fancy rice cooker right there. Oh, look at the start and completion melody signal. Oh, look at that. There we go. Okay, that's that's a nice rice cooker. Shoot, really nice, really. Back to the ironer steamer. Wow, 
that is pretty fancy. Uh, this is a first for me. I've never found one like this before. I have no idea if this is something significant value-wise. It's a DG5030. I'm gonna have to look this up. That seems awfully nice. All right, yep, we definitely have some value here. There's the exact same model right there, 118 bucks pre-owned. There's 100 bucks pre-owned. 160 for an open box, 129 pre-owned. This thing's got some value. Definitely got some value. Yeah, all right, that's a good piece right there. I've never seen one before. Cool. Um, but this box is not looking like master bedroom. This box is looking more like kitchen. Uh, maybe it's a mix. What's that? It looks like a bib or something. No strainer. A couple of glass bowls. All right, let me put it up on the table here so oh, I can work on it a little easier. Okay, yep, it's spilling out. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Cuisinart Mini Prep Plus. It's pretty nice. There's the cord. The food processor. processor. Okay, little toothpicks. Okay, whatever. It's a nice little mixer. Look at that. Look how they tied up the, the uh, whatever you call them right there. That's very organized. I, I respect that. Respect. Respect. Mini filled pie press. That's funny. I think we found some of these little, we found at least one other one of those somewhere. It's somewhere. It was loose though. Paper bakeware. Uclo app. Okay, more cupcake stuff. Uh, I wish Camille was here. She'd be loving this stuff. Look at the little cookie covers. More sippy cups. That's some kind of food right here, I think. Some powder. Alright, got some placemats and then some... I think these are just little drying racks or something for your baked goods. Right? I know Camille uses something like that. Puts her little cookies on there after she bakes cookies. Lots of these little cupcake, whatever you call them. Paper cups, cases, whatever. There's a teapot. Hmm, there's a nice uh, Tupperware or something right there. Rubbermaid, okay. It's pretty cool. A nice aluminum baking pan. That's cool, a little Relais Crusoe uh, pan right there. A napkin ring, I think. It looks like it's silver plated. Okay, there's a little crate and barrel pan. And then this, Le Crusoe. Another nice Le Crusoe piece. That's a good stuff. All right, next box, Katie's Craft and Art and Wall Butterflies. Let's see what that's got. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. That's nothing. It's a little dollhouse. How funny, out of paper. Hmm, it's got bags of stuff in here. Okay. Crafts and stuff here. That must be a wall butterfly right there. I did not know what a wall butterfly was. Now, apparently, I know. I'm so much wiser these days. <laughs> so, there's some more wall butterflies. Ay, yeah, yeah. Do these go to the market? I don't know. Okay, yeah, we'll take those butterflies to the market. Why not? Even if we give them away, somebody can get some use out of them. And that box is perfect for them because it's got holes so they can breathe. Ah, oh, look at that. That's neat. Dr. Seuss. Well, that's an illustration from Dr. Seuss anyways. Yeah, Dr. Seuss, 2013. Little clock. Funny, huh? I don't know if that's for teaching kids time or what, but it's kind of cool. Man. That's some junky junk right here. Lots of crafts. Lots of crafts. Their kids were probably kept very busy, and that's good. That's good. I have a feeling these kids did not spend much time on their cell phones like my kids do. Looks like they did lots of arts and crafts, and that was definitely a good thing. Oh, there's some stickers right there. Alright, that's that. Oh, I see some better stuff at the bottom of that box right there. Alright, this is pretty good, I think. Acrylics. They're all soft, too, so I think those are still good. I'm going to put that aside. And this Holly Hobby. Oh, is that a vintage piece right here? Holly Hobby? Definitely looks older. Copyright MCMLXX11. Uh, uh I can't. Uh, it's too hot for that. 
I can't, I can't translate that. I can't decipher the code. Okay, this right here is what I was talking about. This is kind of neat. Felted Knits Kit. It's shrink wrap brand new. It's some crafts. And this is pastel kit. Materials, techniques, and projects. It's a little bit heavier. Yeah, okay. It's got some pastels and maybe some paper and stuff. It's $23 and it's brand new sealed. So, love finding brand new sealed stuff. Okay, the, a little bit more crafts here. The softies kit. Softies. Looks like it's not used. The sew it kit. This one does look used. Alright, because the stuff's missing there. And the quilt it kit. That one is brand new sealed. Okay. This one I'll let go to the market. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, that's got to be books. Oh, no, it's not books. Okay, guys, this is not books. This is wine. Look at all this wine in here. Saddleback Cellars 2006 Petite Verdot. Napa Valley. This is good stuff right here, but I don't know if it went bad. I think it was stored upright. I'm not sure. Some of the stuff he had put on the side. This box, I don't remember how it was stored. If it was stored like this, it might not be good anymore. Uh, but if it was stored on its side, and it probably was. This guy knew his stuff. It might still be good. There's another Saddleback 2005 Cabernet Sauvignon. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, that looks probably pretty good. I'm going to have to take some of that home and do a little test. Taste test. I'm gonna leave that right there because that's kind of heavy. This box of stuff I've already been through. Crafts and you know, whatever. We went through that before. Right here. Toys, memorabilia, puzzle, floor. It's kind of a tall box, so I'm gonna do it on its side. Okay. It's just easier that way. Even though it falls out, makes a mess. We don't care. We don't care about that. Handprint ornament. Okay. Kitty play pack. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. What does that say? Sugar booger. <laughs> That's, it says sugar booger. See? Sugar booger. That's heck of funny. It's a nice little backpack right there. You know what that means. I think it's too nice for Stockton. Let's go on to Danza. Squinkies. That's cool. Some little toys. Oh yeah, this did say toys, didn't it? Okay. Stockton. Maybe it goes in a live auction. I don't know. It's all about sorting, guys. I do a lot of sorting. Lots of sorting. Probably more sorting than most storage guys right here. Because we sell in so many different ways. We sell in our live auctions on YouTube, which we do every Monday night, 5 p.m. Pacific. In case you guys haven't been before and you haven't heard me talk about it before, 5 p.m. Pacific every Monday. We sell on eBay, all right? And then we sell at two different markets. We sell at Stockton, which is kind of the lower end market, but it's great for moving. Tons of stuff. What is this? The Umbra Fishbowl. Um, in I bring the big trailer. You can see that the big trailer here. It's kind of blocking the sun. Look at the size of this sucker. Huge. We bring the big trailer to Stockton. We move massive stuff. And then once a month we do a, an upper end flea market. What I consider an upscale flea market. Which is called Dianza. It's in Cupertino. Actually this looks brand new. Because that's sealed. Maybe this side. Alright that was 32 bucks brand new for this fish bowl right here. Hmm. Kind of neat. We'll take it to Dianza. Probably. So that's four different things that we sort for, plus we also sometimes sort garbage and don't take it anywhere at all. Go straight to the dump, actually. Ooh, ooh what's this? Disney. Uh oh look at this, guys. Look at that, that's cute. Animator's Collection, and that's Belle. So it does look like she may have been out of the box at some point. Maybe not. Maybe not. I see the tire on her neck. Oh, she's sealed. Wait a second. She's never been out of the box, okay. She looked a little cockeyed, so I thought maybe she'd been out. But this is sealed. And the bottom's not open. That's potentially a little bit of money right there. That's a nice little find. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's good. We like finding that kind of stuff. We love the collectibles. Collectibles are good. Mm. Uh oh. Handbag. Handbag. One of our favorite finds. Oh, handbag with tags. Come on. Ellington. Okay, that was 115 bucks. Crossbody. Museum store bag. Wow, okay, that's that's actually a really nice looking bag. I dig it. It's leather. Yeah, it's got a cool look to it. Brand new, guys. Never even used. That's a, that's a good find right there. That's something that we would sell in our live auction right here. That won't go to the flea market. That'll go into our live auction. 
So I'm gonna put that, actually I'm gonna start a new box for that right here. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. It's a shopping bag. SF Momo, uh, MoMA, uh, that's Museum of Modern Art, uh, museum store. So that's in San Francisco. And it looks like they bought a bunch of stuff. That's, that makes sense now. That, that bag had a, the handbag had a tag from the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. Umbra Talk Corkboard. Oh, how cool. Got the little talking caption bubbles. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's really neat, actually. 12 bucks. It wasn't super expensive, but I just think it's cool. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna take that home and show the girls. Maybe they put it in their room. Or maybe they're like, no, dad, no. Like, so offended that I even asked if they <laughs> wanted it. <laughs> $7 for this? What? Is that an ornament? What the heck? Seven bucks? I would never. I would never. <laughs> Locking this is cheap, guys. I am cheap. I would not spend that kind of money for that. That's just me. So what's that? Books? Brand new sealed books right there. Children's books. We'll take that to the De Anza flea market also. That's what that box is right there. POC 3. It's a little, like, coin purse. 15 bucks. This is the container store. So maybe this isn't from the Museum of Modern Art. This is from something else. I think they have a container store in San Francisco, very near the museum, perhaps, I believe. Maybe. I don't know. Picnic Pal Apple Park. A little plush. This is really nice stuff. It's all brand new. Ten bucks on that. SF MoMA Museum Store. City stamp set right there. That was 24 bucks. Wow, okay. So stamps. Like, we've already found a bunch of stamps. Jam and Honey. Now the children's books. All about faces. Children's books. I think we are taking some children's books to the De Anza. I don't know if they'll sell. I don't really know. Here's another uh, little coin purse to match that one. These are really cool. They're silicon. So it's the rubber. Very nice. And there's a sock monkey. Hat. Beanie cap. Cool. 26 bucks. What? 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 They bought all this stuff brand new and never even used it. You know, I do appreciate that. Jelly lens for mobile phones. Huh? Oh, it does like, a, you put it over the camera, it does a little special effect. That's kind of neat. Six bucks. How much did they spend at this store? $672. What? They got 20% off everything because it looks like they're a member of the museum. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, you got money. You've got money. You could spend it. I, I do not spend very easily. It, it pains me to spend. There's a $15 or something. Thumbprint masterpieces. <laughs> 30 ready to complete works of art. Just add your thumbprint. And then this art in a box. All right. I just thought if there's an F right there, that'd be way more interesting. It'd be funny. That would be funny. All right, guys, I'm a little juvenile. That's what I think. That's what goes to my mind. All right, there's another uh, fish tank. So you got two fish tanks, fish bowls, whatever. And then here is the floor puzzle pieces. And that was 45 bucks marked down to 28 bucks right there. That's some nice stuff. I'm gonna actually take that Danza. I was thinking floor puzzle, that's definitely going to Stockton. But now that I see where it came from, I'm like, meh, meh. We'll, we'll, we'll bring that somewhere nicer. Couple more things here. A couple of really nice books right here. Children's books. And mobile clip photo hanger. That was 15 bucks. You think I can get five for that at the market? I don't know. I'll get three or four, probably. Okay. This box says storage, kitchen, keepsakes. Michael Pullen. I'm not sure what that's re referencing, but this box has got some weight to it. Okay. A little cutting board. A little bit more baking wear here, a little paper uh, stuff, you know. Threshold. What is that? Maybe you stand something in, I don't know. Plates or something. Okay, what do we got here? That's a nice piece. That's custom made by the owner, previous owner. Alright. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That is really beautiful. What the heck? That's super nice. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, I'm a, I'm, I kind of want to take that home and show Jana. That's pretty. I know what she's going to say. She's going to say, no. Jana, you want to keep it? No. But don't want to look pretty in your house? No. No. Don't even think about it. Locking it. Don't even. All right, I'm thinking about it. I'm putting it in the car. I can endure the no. I endure it all the time. The no don't phase me. Hmm. That's nice, Noel. 
Threshold. Where, where do they sell Threshold at, guys? Is that a Target brand? Definitely seems a little bit nicer. It's got a little chip right there, but that could just do a little brown Sharpie right there. I'll fix it up. It's a nice wood piece. Noel. Beautiful. What is this? Sur la table. Nice ceramic piece. There's just a tremendous amount of stuff in that box. Okay, you know what, guys? There's just so much stuff in here. Let me just go through it. And the more interesting stuff I'll put aside, we'll do a recap in just a second. Okay, guys, most of that box was ceramic stuff. Uh, these I thought were just kind of cool. They're little ceramic lemons by Threshold. And I think that is Target because it says right there by Target Corp. Uh, you see two of them here. There's three more wrapped up. There's a bunch over there. I probably got 10 of these. I'll bring those home to Jana and just see if she wants them for anything. This was nice right here. Uh, brand new walk. Look at that. Brand new. Like I actually put the handle on it. The handle was unscrewed just like it comes originally. Look at that. Nice uh, non-stick surface there. Never been used at all. Looks like it's 25 bucks brand new. Not super expensive, but still a great piece. And then the last thing of interest is this. Nomad. Uh, it says right here, the Go Everywhere Espresso Machine. I hope this is a nice little espresso machine. So I've been kind of looking for an espresso machine. Huh. Okay, it's been used. But, uh, hmm. Okay. There's another part to it right there, I guess. And something else right there. Where's the power cord? Does it need a power cord? It's got to use a power cord, right? Kickstarter edition. Oh my goodness. Kickstarter edition. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right. I don't know, guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It seems like it should be powered. I don't see a power cord. Okay, next box. I think this is going to be wine. I think it's wine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Saddleback Cellars. Okay, kind of like the other ones that we found. This one's 2008, 2009. There's something different. Pre Reserve right here. Napa Valley. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. I mean, it's not great because I don't have a easy way to sell wine but i'm sure it's good wine or at least it was if it hasn't gone bad who knows maybe we've got some significant value in wine i don't know felting supplies and kit not that there's a blanket crocheted blanket that seems kind of nice and there's another one what's this here's wishing you a happy holiday season that looks like vintage boxer shorts there american eagle no they're not <laughs> it's funny but this right here, um, I don't know. There might be a little value in this. Might be a little. Oh, that's like a shawl or something. A little stained up right there, though. Not stained, just a little dirty right there. But, um, I don't know. Sometimes this stuff does okay in our auctions. We might give it a shot. Next box. Another yeah, rat poopage right there. Rat poopage. Rat pooey. <laughs> I just made that up, Ratapooey. That's hilarious. I can let that go. Okay, so got some Christmas stuff here. Some uh, this is the felts right here. Yep, 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 no, 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 no. I'll go to the market. Okay, I was kind of avoiding this big bad boy right here, but actually, it's, uh, it's not heavy at all. Okay, what do we got here? It's a nice basket. Welcome, it says. Welcome. There's nesting baskets. Three welcome baskets right there. A couple more baskets right here. Oh, those are nice. A little faux leather on there. There's a pumpkin basket. That's actually pretty neat. And then an acorn basket. Is that considered a basket right there? I don't know. It's kind of neat though. What is, what's in here? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Just some stuff. Oh, there's some cards. The Squirrel King. A game of squirrel matching fun. <laughs> squirrel King. 22 bucks. What? Oh, all this is part of it. Okay. Oh, it probably came in here then, maybe? I don't know. Does he get it? Oh, guys, I just thought of this. It's a locker nut. Wah, wah. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, what do we got here? What is this? This is soft right here. Whatever that is. It almost looks like a laundry bag. I don't know. But why is it stuffed with this stuff? Is it a pillow? I don't understand what's going on right now. I don't understand. Help me understand. <laughs> Locker nuts is a little slow on the go sometimes. This has got me perplexed. Perplexed. What the heck is that for? I think it's just a 
pillow. Decorative maybe to go in the corner and look like, oh, look how soft and inviting our interior is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't It's probably expensive, whatever it was, because it feels quality. And that's that. Another bin empty. Okay, guys, next box. Store, fragile, master bedroom, honeymoon picks and dishes, Tofino and baby picks. Tofino, hmm, I wonder what that is. Tofino is a town up in uh, British Columbia. I went there before, I'm not sure if that's what that is. Maybe souvenirs from a trip there, maybe it's something completely different. Well, let's find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that's a really neat shower curtain right there. Looks like a city landscape, probably San Francisco. That's kind of cool. I'll put that aside for Dianza. Dianza! Okay, a couple blankets here and sheets. Stockton. It's, not, it looks like it's a neck pillow, but it looks like it's for babies. Hmm. Mama's hand painted Fourth of July platter. Super fragile. It's not just fragile, it is super fragile. Oh, that's cool. It's got some little fireworks on there. Neat. Okay, whoa. Hmm. Lots of stuff to unpack here, guys. Okay, we're going to do like we did before. And I'm just going to start unwrapping stuff off camera. We'll do a summary of cool stuff. I think this is all going to be like custom stuff. They did ceramics. I think the family's really into that. We'll go through it. If there's interesting stuff, I'll, I'll show you in just a second. You guys don't need to stick around for this part. Let me do the hard work. You guys can just fast forward. Okay, guys, I'm just a few items in. I got to start the camera because I got something interesting. It's a little jewelry box. It was wrapped up in here and then some of that blue uh, padded padding. Okay, <laughs> padded padding. Um, and uh, yeah, what do we got here? Maybe it's not too impressive, but some graphite or something. Oh, not graphite. What is that? I forget what that's called. Obsidian, maybe? I don't know. There's a little crystal. Okay, but I saw this. I thought I better start the camera. Looks like it could be a little bit of silver. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's 925. I can see that. As bad as my eyes are, I can see that. It's 925. So we got a little silver right there. A little necklace, but, uh, okay. Yeah, I thought that was a toilet for a second there. Nope, that's a mixer. <laughs> like a KitchenAid mixer. Oh, yeah. And a little baby, uh, chain or something right there. All right, well, that's not too exciting, but I did, it did warrant starting the camera. All right, got a little silver. And then, uh, earlier I found this little clay piggy. Just kind of neat. I'm gonna put him aside. And then this glass piece right here, which is uh, feels heavy. This is a nice piece, but no, I couldn't see any markings on it. So I was hoping to find some markings or something. But nice little jewelry bowl, right? All right, guys. That actually took me quite a while because every piece is wrapped in this kind of stuff, and then saran wrapped, and then wrapped in paper and taped. Yikes! All right, but here's a couple cool pieces. This right here, a little salt and pepper shaker. Ah, he's missing a little cork on the bottom, but made in Japan right there. There's the salt. That those are that's really cool. I, I think I think that's cool. And then this right here, uh, that's I think bronze. It's like really heavy. I think that's a bronze piece. So that's neat. I think it's an aardvark, right? Or anteater? I'm not sure. Uh, this right here is a little pepper. Uh, no, uh, maybe it's salt. I don't know. I think it's a salt, but it's an egg. I didn't find the other one. And then this right here, um, just, it, it, it's it's just a rock. It's been carved out to be a panel stick holder. But this is neat. It's honeymoon rock. We must have gone there. Honeymoon Tofino, British Columbia. So I was right. That is the town in British Columbia that they're referring to. It looks like they spent their honeymoon there. Uh, really beautiful place. So that's cool. Okay, next box. Yeah, it's a big one. Oh, I see some toys. My little pony. My little bony pony. Cool. All right, little baby doll. Brianna. Oh, that's a Melissa and Doug product. That's good. Some good quality stuff. Looks like that one's been opened before, but nice. There's a little steering wheel cover. Some little pink dots on there. Cute. All right. Okay, I see more of my little ponies. I love these IKEA bags right there. Those are cool. Whoa. My little pony done big time right here. The Friendship Express Train. Around town playset. Wowza. That's pretty cool, guys. It's taped right here. Oh, I think that is never opened. Tape, tape. Good. Is this collectible? Is there any potential value in this other than the fact that it's a brand new toy? Huh. I don't know. And then look at these. Ooh. 
I think that's a laptop. <laughs> okay, My Little Pony and a laptop. Yes, that's cool. <laughs> what do we got here? What is this? AC adapter, what? What kind of computer is this? I don't see any markings on it, like for the manufacturer. Mario? Mario! <laughs> you guys aren't video nerds, that little silliness probably didn't make too much sense to you. And you're like, what is it? Um, hmm. We'll have to look that up. Oh, oh, what's this? This is more electronics right here. Oh, very nice. There's some nooks, a couple nooks. I'm assuming your next battery charge is too low to operate. It's amazing. It can even display that very cool right here Hmm Yes, there's another nook right there. That's pretty cool. All right. I think that's still a thing I'll Put those aside too. Those we'll probably put in our live auction. That's the kind of stuff we do there This one the kind the kind I think those are snowboarding gloves. That'll go to the Enza There's a graduation cap. Uh oh this is heavy. Oh, I think it's an Apple. This looks like Apple, yes. Apple laptop. I think this is called the Icebook. It's an iBook G4. This is old. Not a whole bunch of value there. Just, come on. Every time I find an Apple laptop, I get excited. We've already found one in this locker. And now we find two. I think that was called the Icebook. I, I might be wrong. I might have made that up. Oh, what? What? That's awesome. Oh! <gasps> That's so cool. There's the mask. Ooh, that might be a keeper right there. That might be a keeper. Yeah, this is a good box right here. I like it. Okay, there's a bunch of baby clothes. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, that'll go to market. Stockton market, to be precise. Look at that. It's a moose. What is... What is he made out of? Almost looks like mushrooms. And it's got bark. That's that's actually pretty stinking cool. I don't know. Just different. I don't know if it's cool. It's just different. I like different. It's a little Ikea box. Yep, just a little box. Melissa and Doug easel paper roll. Yeah, it's just paper. Mm, some crafting supplies there. Mm. Oh, look at that. Brand new Adidas socks. Girls super light. Hey, there's a lot of socks in here brand new. I'm just seeing them. Kind of all blends together. Can I look at it for a second? There's Woman's Super Light Adidas. That's a pretty good. I don't know about the colors on there, but I'm going to ask my ladies, plural, <laughs> meaning my wife and my daughters. All right, more brand new socks. Crayola. Wow, uh, there's lots of socks. Is there a clearance on socks or something? They bought the store out on clearance socks or something? Brand new. All this brand new socks. But wait, there's more. It just looks just like regular old clothes and stuff. Baby stuff. Super Dry Japan? JPN? What is that? Super Dry Japan. The Wind Cheater. Kind of looks nice. Super Dry, huh? Hmm. It's neat. What's this? Some kind of sleeping bag or something? Blank? Oh, it's a blanket. For like the beach. And that's another big blanket for the beach or something. Another nice thick blanket right there. Yeah, that's cool. That'll go to Stockton. Next box. This one's kind of light. Favorite pottery. I don't think that's it though. It's too light for pottery. Blanket with a brat poop on it. Yeah, maybe it is. Alright guys, uh... It's looking like it could be, uh... Pottery, ceramics, that kind of stuff. So, you know the drill. I'm going to open it and uh, see what we got. I'll let you know if we find something cool. Okay, guys, the update on that last box, there was just pottery in there. And it was, uh, yeah, not that interesting. So, next box, got some, that's cool, some paper letters there. Little hat. Got some felt. A bunch of felt for sewing crafts. I don't know. Next box. Little fabric, 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 fabric. Okay, more fabric and more fabric. Mm -hmm. Alright. Hmm, got a purse right here. What do we got? It's embroidered. Okay. 
clean. I don't think it was really used, but I don't think it's anything special either. It's alright. Mark it. Wait. This one was 25 bucks right here. Just for that, huh? Mighty Atom. It's pretty cool. Oh, this is really cool. Look at that. Science fiction. That's, uh, so that, that's his name, Adam, I guess. All right. Atomic Boy or something, isn't it? Oh, we got all purses in here. In bags. Okay. So, oh, whoa. Hey, guys, check this out. Boom. Quada. I found a quota that makes me happy. Okay, little bag. Made by hand in Cambodia. Mmm, that one is actually really cool right here. That looks like it could be vintage. Removed before washing. It's got a little tag on the inside here. Made in China. Okay. Ann Taylor. Alright. It's an Ann Taylor purse. It's kind of neat though. Hmm. What's this? Coach! Oh, we got a coach. Definitely has been used because it's got some receipts and stuff, but it's clean. On the inside, it is definitely clean. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Right? Yeah. Long champ? Is that good? Mm hmm. I don't know. That one's, that one's weird. It's wood. Whoa. Lots of receipts. What a neat little purse right here. Okay, what's this? Cahoots handbag. Yeah, that's, that's neat. It's got a big, huge button right there. Yeah, it's different. Uh-oh. I don't know if I can figure this out. <laughs> what's, there we go. What's the catch? Get it? <laughs> don't it. Ann Taylor again. Okay, no money. No money. A little notepad. Another little purse, clutch, or whatever you call them. Oh, it's got a magnet. That's cool. Movie stubs. Wait, what'd they see? What'd they see? Oh, no, it doesn't show that part. Trying to find me some dollar dollar bills, yo. Oh. 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 What is this? That's a dollar. <laughs> it's funny. I just said, let me find some dollar dollar bills. And that says dollar. It's a coin. It's can Canadian dollar. And then a quarter US right there. All right, that's getting better. A oh, okay. Now we got some more money here. Another 45 cents. Sweet. And a penny. Huh? Little coin purse is empty. Wait, what kind is that? Brighton. That's oh, Brighton. Nice. See that? Okay. This one's bananas right here. Totally bananas. Let's see if there's any dollar bills or gift cards or something in there. Nope, there is not. And the last one right here. Oh, this one's kind of nice. Oh, hang on. What's that? Jewelry box. Despicable Me. Movie stub, okay. That's a fossil. Alright, this one is a fossil. Oh, I see some money. I see some money, honey. Yes. Nice. Okay, alright. 25 cents. 35 cents. 36 cents. What's this? Oh, oops. Little earrings. With red owls on them. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, all in all, not a bad little box. Got some interesting purses here. Nothing super crazy expensive or anything. Oh, wait, I missed this right here. What's this? What is this? Drumsticks. What is this? I don't know what that is. Do you guys know what that is? I don't know. Chopsticks? Portable chopsticks? I don't know. Beats me. There's no clues on here. I don't, I don't really know. All right, anyways, let's put that back in there. Figure out what to do with this later. It's not going to Stockton. That's all I know right now. That's all I need to know. Next box. More pottery. Mm hmm. More plastic glass, paper glass. More pottery. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to go through this. It's going to punt. It's going to the market. Next box says felt and fleece. Uh -uh. There's some. Diaper bag thingy. Calamity Jeans Cottage. That seems like it's a little bit more expensive. Alright, bunch of nursing stuff here. Okay, I don't know, guys. This kind of stuff. I know it's expensive, but don't really deal in that kind of stuff, so. 
There's a lot of stuff in here. So I'll bring it to Stockton. Worst case, we sell it too cheap, but it goes to somebody who can either use it and save money or resell it and make some money. It's not the end of the road, you know? Pass it on. All right. Oh boy. That's, 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 oh boy. Oh boy. Nice little notepads there. Okay. Okay, there's a large notebook. That's six bucks new. And what's this? I'm not sure. Wait, bedspread, ivory, birdcage. The size is an 80 by 108. No, 90 by 108. From Urban Outfitters. That's kind of cool. Bring that to Dienza. Okay, supermodel. It says supermodel wig. Yeah, it's, it's Halloween's coming up here. Oh, 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 that's cool. Ghostbusters costume? Come on, that's a $40 costume right there. That is going in the keeper box. I might just use that. Mm -mm. Okay, a little dress, I think. Yes, yes, this side's up. Okay, that's nice. There's another one, very similar. Price was $45, I think. It's like a little boutique type stuff right here. It's nice. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. It's like something you'd wear in Hawaii. Like over your swimsuit or something. Those are cool. A whole bunch of them. Okay, next box. Oh boy. Oh wait. Okay, so the last thing we found said oh boy. Look at that. That's just a blank paper. Big old things of paper. That actually seems kind of nice right there. 5 p.m. to 9 a.m. Why does it have a that on there i don't know it's like we got a bunch of paper goods here coloring pad oh what's this this is some cards right there that's nice stickers little wine bottle stickers this is actually some really nice stuff look at that that's 26 dollars marked down to five dollars a little daily planner 2009 it's a little outdated i'll let that one go yahoo whoa what's that oh, maybe gift cards but no 2008 mass transit tickets little composition books someone did a little project on freemasonry symbols of freemasonry i see three more of those old boy books right there this stuff's actually that's pretty decent they're nice quality uh brand new like notepads and journals and stuff luxury letter set this stuff does actually pretty well in our live auctions if it's you know high quality expensive when it was new and it sure looks like it was there's a little hello kitty stuff sanrio okay yep this is this is actually some pretty good stuff right here guys believe it or not this is decent stuff and uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna put this aside actually i like it i like it i like it i like it okay here's what we got still we got yeah i'm not gonna be able to get it through at all i'm actually running out of time yeah that's too bad because i really wanted to they're closing up here in about an hour at this facility and i still have to go do a couple more things so all right some picture frames there hey what's this oh it's a recordable that's interesting portable picture frames okay oh look at that look at those little bags it's cute oh papyrus nice nice little bags right here I think they're just gift bags or something nice led bulbs sphere lights and what's this budget cuts save for life's little necessities oh that's cool it's a little piggy bank clever Jeez, on sale for 21 bucks nope it's not in there they put the uh christmas lights in there these look like nice lights too and last but not least we've got this little box right here pure one imports 15 bucks looks like an ornament box let's see what it is it is an ornament Okay, that shouldn't be that hard to pull out. This is one of those hand-painted, I think it's hand-painted, that paint is on the inside of these glass ornaments. Pretty nice. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. I don't know. I'll bring it, I guess I'll bring it to Dianza. It's a little too nice for Stockton. All right, guys, uh, like I said, I've only got an hour. I'm not going to be able to get through all that, so I'm going to leave this for our next video. Doesn't seem like enough for a one whole video, but um, I got some stuff I got to do. I actually got to swing by my other unit and pick up some tables and pick up maybe some furniture. I got to see what I can grab and throw on that trailer because I got to top this load off. Uh, the trailer's not full. It's almost full. It's almost full. It's close enough. 
I mean, it's close enough that we're gonna have enough stuff to sell in one day. It's still a lot of stuff. I gotta see if I can throw some other stuff, especially big items like furniture. If I can get some furniture in there, but I also need to throw some tables in there because we have a lot of pottery and stuff. Ooh, that light's getting me. We have pottery and stuff that I want to put on tables. Um, it's not like it's super nice or anything, but it's just I know it's gonna get broken if it's in the boxes. They're gonna drop it on the ground and break it. So, which maybe doesn't matter anyways. But I do think we just need some table so anyways uh i gotta go do that so we're gonna wrap this up but tomorrow i'll be at the market i'm gonna try to film so we'll see if something you know we'll see if that film comes together good sometimes i film at the flea market but i don't use it because just like it's just nothing it, that eventful happens or we just don't have that many sales i like it when it's when it's hopping when it's popping when we're making money and cash is changing hands i like that or when something exciting happens and sometimes it does it's the flea market it's always an adventure as well all right but you'll find out if i put that video out or the next locker digging video doesn't really matter next video will be out soon but until then good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on locker nuts all right guys right behind me here is the clutter team with the clutter truck and we're doing something different today uh we're getting some auction items delivered to us they're delivering boxes for us to go through it's gonna be really interesting it's something different all right guys there's the stuff right here um wow that was so awesome already great experience